Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to use WinPCAP and Wireshark to collect traffic from a remote machine. Hey guys, so to start doing this, we're going to need a little bit of software. Um, so the tools that you're going to need are going to be PS Tools, which you can get from this TechNet address. By the way, I'll include all the addresses that you need in the description. Um, if I miss one, just leave a message and, uh, and I'll add it. Um, the next one we're going to need is WinPCAP. Uh, WinPCAP is going to be on the client PC that you're trying to record data from. And then the last one, of course, is Wireshark. So um, grab these three tools before we get started. PS Tools you'll want to install on the desktop that you're capturing the data from. And we're going to use this to initiate commands on the client PC that has WinCap, WinPCAP installed. Hey guys, um, I just realized I got some music playing in the background. Uh, if that's really annoying, just let me know. Throw some comments in below. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and get rid of it next time. Um, I just kind of listen to it in the background while I'm working through my day. Um, anyway, so to get started, uh, PS Tools is going to be installed on this machine, the one that we're working on right now. Um, you're also going to have WinPCAP installed on the remote machine. Uh, you need both those items in place before you get started. So now that we're started though, um, let's get it done. Um, we're going to connect remotely to the PC that we want to capture traffic from. And we're just going to run CMD, which is command, which is this box. Um, but we're going to run it from this PC connect to the other one. So when I hit enter, uh, that connects over to this PC. This command line is now the command line from the PC over at the far side. So uh, we need to get over to the, uh, the program files directories for WinPCAP. Win P cap. And then we're going to launch WinPCAP in uh, kind of a uh, remote mode. RP cap D minus N. And that's it. That's how you know it's working. If it just doesn't do anything. That's kind of the rule for all IT stuff. Um, anyway, so that's now running. Um, it's a service that we're going to stop afterwards, obviously. Um, you can see I started getting ahead of myself here. But what we're going to do is open up Wireshark. Um, we're going to come into the capture options area of Wireshark. And we're going to manage the interfaces. Because right now all it has is the, uh, you know, the interfaces for my local PC. We're going to come in here and go into the remote interfaces. Now I've set this up previously, so let me just delete that and we'll re-add it. And we're just going to come in here and we're going to tell it to connect to the host that we just started the WinPCAP service on. We don't have to worry about port, and, we, and it is null authentication. That was the minus N um, on that RPCAPD that we ran down in over here. Um, that minus N is null authentication, or so my understanding is. When we hit OK, there it is. There is the PC that we want. Uh, hit Apply. All right, close. And there's the WinPCAP device that we want. Um, so now you can kind of do your normal thing with Wireshark, you know, set up your capture filters, what files you want, blah, 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 blah. Um, what we're going to do is just hit start, though. And it's telling us that the capture size, blah. But here it is. Um, I mean, that PC is not doing anything right now, but here's all the traffic on it. Um, it's it's connecting remotely, and it is capturing traffic. So we'll start up Chrome, and we can see that we're going to start capturing traffic. You can see that going. So that's it. Um, it's really easy to set up. Uh, just make sure that you have those items installed prior to. Um, you know, if you think that you're going to be doing this often, I'd probably throw WinPCAP out on all those PCs that you're doing. 
Um, other than that, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, throw them in down below. I'll do my best to answer it. To be honest with you, I just kind of found this by accident one day and, uh, and did some research on it to figure out how to get it all done. So I may not be the, the uh, genius behind it all, but uh, I was able to get it to work.